tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Brandon Smith. I'm from Carmine, Illinois. I'm currently a work at Gibson County Call, Gibson South, mm -hmm. and I've been doing that since I was 22 is when I started. So, mm -hmm. and uh, that's about it. I mean, tell us a little bit about your art. How did you How did you find this art? Um, I always I took art in high school, and I went to SIC for two years and just fell in love with sculpture. I wanted to do that. I did clay and then some metal, but then here at SIC, I, I went and took a, a welding class and mainly just for sculpture. I got to kind of work it out where I just went down there and did a few things and they let me kind of take off. So I did some stuff here. I did a train and, uh, and <laughs> locomotive and some different stuff. And then I kind of enjoyed it. And then uh, from there, I end up probably I think it was two years and I decided I wanted to start making some money. So I went, got into coal mining because my uh, father-in-law, he was a coal miner. So I was, I never, it wasn't, it kind of just happened. So, but uh, then took a break for a long time. I hadn't messed with sculpture. I did some photography, but uh, like 2020, I started doing some stuff, made a few like sculptures and kind of put some lights on it. Made my wife a lamp kind of started. So mm -hmm. I went from there. But, uh, and then just started showing a couple of my pieces and people liked them, something like that. And then I've never been to a show, so I put some stuff here and it kind of got some good feedback. So that's how it kind of started. And I just kind of went from there and started making more and more because yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. But. And so now this has um, turned into a business for you. Yeah, the lamp part, I haven't uh, kind of arts just getting going, you know, the sculptures, but I made some sculptural lamps and put some lights on them like my pieces. but. Then it got popular and I started making like <laughs> baseball lamps, whatever kind of lamps they made once, just whatever they want I would make, so. So do you make it to sell or do you um, take commissions? Uh, usually just to sell with lamps. I haven't really had, just kind of getting started, so uh, yeah. it's not, I uh, haven't sold much yet. But and what's the name of your business? 310 Design is the name of the. And where did that come from? My son, Tristan, he's the, that was his birthday, so oh, okay. went from that, so it's a number three, then spell out 10 to okay. something so do you have yeah. a website or can we no not website? yet i just okay. have a uh, facebook and instagram okay. and you can check out all that stuff okay. there okay all right well uh what do you love about working with welding i just kind of like the well that's why it's show's name industrial nature but just the raw material and i like i like doing a lot of uh rusted pieces i mean into that and different kind of patinas but and just the rugged look of it and yeah. I want to I try to make it rugged and like real sleek but yeah I just enjoy things and wood together with it so yeah. that's what really makes it I think enjoyable for me do you which do you like working with better do you like the wood do you like the metal which or do you like both, both really right now I have a tiny little shed beside my house so I don't have the equipment <laughs> but if I had the nice equipment metal would be and you know just with the pieces yeah, this is this show would probably be Maybe one of my, we'll go, maybe freshman show. You know, I want to get better and better as we yeah. get, you know, because with the tools and different equipment, I can just make it better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but yeah, I, I think metal would be one of my favorites. What's tough about what you do? Trying to get the pieces cut and different things, you know, and, and with the tools I have, you know, it's yeah. just tough. Yeah. I need a better welder and different, but yeah. Yeah. just that kind of stuff, just yeah. trying to get everything, yeah. one, bigger pieces. I want to do larger pieces, but that's yeah. later. So when I yeah. get some yeah. stuff to do. Well, my next question was going to be, what is a dream project that you would like to Just any do? kind of big piece. Yeah. Uh, I mean, on a campus or in like a park or something, I want to do some stuff like that, large pieces. Yeah. And I'd really like to have a piece of Cedarhurst out and they have a sculpture oh, yeah. uh, yard, like kind of like a trail and everything. But yeah. I'd like to do some bigger stuff. Yeah. So mainly, some of my pieces that you see here, I'd like to do size them up, like you know, make them big. So yeah. I, I have some ideas with some pieces that I'm gonna make larger. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite teachers? I have three. Uh, Rodney Myers. He was when I was in middle school, and he kind of helped me with all my. I did some photography when I got started doing what, stuff. What kind of teacher was he? He was our teacher. Our teacher. At the, yeah, and uh, Julia Pfeiffer. She's really helped yeah. me with uh, all the th this side of the art, uh, just the gallery and stuff she's very knowledgeable but i think hiller g she was my art teacher in high school and we were one of my probably my favorite teachers she 
we were buddies and yeah. kind of class clown and yeah. she let me get away with a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it was fun. We had a good and we're still friends and we yeah. kinda of, she helps me and she's actually still a teacher and I think she's gonna try to bring her class to see oh, my show. Great. So that's gonna be awesome. That's so. great. But yeah. Does your son help you work on He does, that? yeah. He, he always he uh, draws up ideas for lamps and they're oh, pretty wow. wild they're pretty wild and I'll just tell him <laughs> I'll do it. But he, I have had some ideas because he's uh, wrote some stuff down and uh yeah. There it is. Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> this is a piece of, uh, one of my better pieces of wood. This is black walnut. I usually just use whatever. Sometimes I don't even know what kind of wood it's, I'm using. But it's been sliced in half and it's been sanded and it has a metal, a metal base, which I just kind of go with whatever. I've been spraying metal with a clear coat and I set it on fire. I don't let it dry like it should. I just, whatever happens, you know, I'll, spray with water then spray with some more spray paint see what you know <laughs> happens and it turned out good like you let the creative process yeah, take over and just if i mess up uh, i mess up and that's what i usually i've always said like some of my pieces that i i've actually broken a piece that turned out better i just i work pretty fast anyway so yeah. it it kind of works out if something happens and it kind of makes it better than it would have been right some magnets so and i want to do more pieces like that but this is not connected it's just floating so it's kind of got pressure to hold it up that's kind of where the name under tension came from but these are just there and same kind of deal this wood is i do not know what kind of wood this maybe ash i don't know uh just burnt and this is the technique where it is i guess the technique but i just sprayed it with spray paint and i set it on fire as soon as i spray it with clear coat and then i'll do another coat like that and set it on fire and I just let it burn down and it leaves like some bubbles, I like how it looks. Okay, this one is Orbit. This one came from, this is made out of two uh, caps of like uh, those big propane tanks and they cut them off and they use a center for like uh, coverts and stuff. So they want to, they sell the caps and I, I got two caps and they've been welded together. So that's a hollow orb. And I just, this kind of came to life as it, I built it. I had really no idea. So it kind of took on the space theme, I think so. I think Orbit, that's the name I came up with. So this one will be, I'm gonna donate this to the campus, so I'm not exactly for sure where it's gonna be on campus, but. Okay, thanks so much for talking with us today and telling us a little bit about your work. Uh, tell me about your show that's happening on Friday. Friday is, uh, it's here at L. Elizabeth Heights Museum. So it's six to 7.30, come out and check it out. And I want everybody to come out and uh, I have, there's going to be hors d'oeuvres, wine, uh, drinks and food, so it's all catered, it's all free, and it's sponsored by uh, Slade's Restoration in Carmine, Illinois, and Rice Motor Company in Carmine, so I just want to thank them for that, and uh, that's about it, just come out and check it out, okay. it's going to be an awesome show. Alright, sounds great, yeah. sounds like a good time, <laughs> thanks.